Hey, ME2110, it's Team 4 from Section J. From second to last place to second place, Team 4's BuzzBot has come a long way. This video will cover the requirements of the ME2110 competition, the process of developing BuzzBot to complete these requirements, and the final result of BuzzBot's performance. In this semester's competition, the robot must successfully deploy move Buzz out of a certain zone without disrupting the aliens in the zone, lift and hold a rocket at least 42 inches above the floor, deliver three RC cars into a rotating centerpiece, and deliver a bouncy ball into a rotating minivan container. A point multiplier is also added if the robot egresses into the home zone. Points for the tasks are assigned as shown in the table. There were many design challenges to overcome. First of all, we had a limited amount of actuators. This made us consider the trade-offs when deciding to move forward with subsystems. If we needed three subsystems to use a motor, we would have to either scrap a subsystem design or find a way to combine them, which could cause complications. The robot also had to stay under $100. This limited our material selection and how much time we needed to spend manufacturing parts versus outright buying them. Since most ME2110 students use the Idea Lab and Invention Studio, designs also needed to consider how long it would take to fabricate and when we would have access to the machines. Most importantly, the robot needed to fit in the volume of 24 by 12 by 18 inches to fit in the go no go gauge so we wouldn't disqualify. Team 4's goal was to prioritize the most reliable tasks. We also definitely wanted to regress and we wanted to avoid mechanisms that were complicated, such as the pneumatic cylinders, which were very bulky and needed to be pumped beforehand. For our robot, our engineering specifications followed the requirements of earning points. However, we did choose a tolerance of a half an inch smaller on each side of the robot to ensure we would fit in the go-no-go no go box. As a team, we believed the toy delivery into the rotating minivan was the most variable and decided that we should focus on perfecting the more predictable tasks. Rescuing Buzz and launching the rocket only relied on the performance of our robot, and returning the RC cars had a dedicated beacon to reliably activate our robot. This in turn made BuzzBot have these functions, while neglecting the returning of the toy to the minivan task. Our very first sketches of BuzzBot included platform designs with mechanisms protruding off the surface, and a walled robot design with mechanisms attached to the inside of the robot. For saving Buzz, we thought of using a claw, kicker, or dragging mechanism. For raising the rocket, we thought of using a scissor lift or a pivoting arm. For the first iteration of BuzzBot, we ended up going with a walled robot design with a kicker for moving Buzz and a scissor lift to raise the rocket. We believed this would be best as it would not interfere with the aliens in the home zone. The wheels on BuzzBot were too thick, and the space between the walls were too narrow, making it very hard to mount anything inside the robot. Our scissor lift wasn't even attached in this first iteration. The walls also hit the centerpiece when it egressed into the home zone, causing BuzzBot to knock over the aliens anyways. Our final design of BuzzBot turned out to be a platform design with a kicker to move Buzz, a scissor lift, which actually fit this time, to raise the rocket, and a PVC pipe ramp with a wooden gate to deliver the RC cars. Our drivetrain included a series of five gears powered by a motor. The axle connecting the wheels went above the robot instead of under, so it would not interfere with the aliens and kicking Buzz back to the starting zone. For the Buzz kicker mechanism, a solenoid pin would hold a wooden board attached to a mousetrap in a loaded position. The solenoid pin would then release the mousetrap board by retracting into the solenoid, allowing the board to kick Buzz back towards the starting zone. Our launch mechanism was a scissor lift activated by a motor. The lift consisted of seven stages of aluminum links fastened with screws and lock nuts. When the motor activated, it wound a plated cord around a coupler spool to pull the dynamic end of the lift towards the static. The result was a vertical extension which launched the rocket to 45 inches above the floor. The RC car delivery mechanism used an angled PVC half pipe with a notch screwed into a wooden mount. 
Mounted above it was a small solenoid with a wooden gate tied to the pin. There was also a switch placed on the left side of the robot and secured by Velcro to a 3D printed rack of possible positions. The pipe was centered on the body of the robot and the switch was positioned in a way that when the beacon went by, the switch triggered and the solenoid moved the gate up allowing the RC cars to roll into the centerpiece. For the final competition, we earned a total score of 329 points, which placed us in second place. Our best round was when we successfully deployed, moved Buzz out of the red circle while moving one alien and partially moving another, had our rocket launched to 45 inches, and delivered all three cars into the correct slot of the centerpiece. We would have also received more points as our robot fully egressed into the home zone. Despite our satisfactory performance, there were still many problems that could be fixed. A minor issue for egressing was the fact that sometimes the wires from the Myrio to the outlet could get tangled in the gears, causing BuzzBot to stop. For the kicker, the force of the mousetrap spring overpowered the pulling force of the solenoid pin, depending on how far the pin was placed under the mousetrap board. Also, we needed to sacrifice at least one alien, and Buzz would not move all the way back to the starting zone. For the scissor lift, the winding of the string around the motor needed to be correct, as if it was too slack, it would not pull the scissor lift all the way up, and if it was too tight, the string could break. For the RC car mechanism, the switch in the ramp may be too far from the centerpiece, causing a failed delivery. However, this rarely happened. To improve BuzzBot, we could use better wire management, which we actually did manage to do as we taped the wires together in later rounds. For saving Buzz, we could redesign the mechanism as a dragging mechanism that would take Buzz all the way back to the starting zone, as our robot was fast enough to move out, back, and out again within the 40 second round. To receive an even higher score for the rocket, we could add more links to the scissor lift with the goal of reaching 100 inches. Overall, the RC car mechanism was very reliable and we would keep this mechanism the same. I know we all wish we could have had our final competition, but I hope everyone is proud with what they have accomplished this semester in ME 2110. I know Team 4 is. Nice!